Hey guys, this is Gorax. Today's video will be about hero stats and a bookshelf. Um, have you ever wondered how there is a big difference between uh, you and the top players in hero power? The answer for that is bookshelf and hero stats. As you can see on my server, I'm ranked 10 with 515,000 power. And the top guy is has Sandro with 800,000 power, so that's a 300,000 power. So why? Is he so far ahead of me? Look at his stats. So he's got 1100 attack, 1300 defense, 1100 intelligence, and 1300 knowledge. Uh, as you can see, his masteries are not even that great. They are very bad for Sandro player, obviously, as you can see. So what what is making him so strong? That's his investment in a bookshelf and other hero stats. So uh, let's go and uh, take a look at my hero first before we move on. So as you can see, I'm only at 800, 900, 800 and 900. So I'm about 200, uh, to, between 200 to 300 uh, power less, uh, per, sorry, hero stats less than his. So where is he getting these hero stats? Let's go to the bookshelf. So spell bookshelf can be found in a mage guild, magic, magic guild, and this is the total boost of stats, okay? So as you can see, I'm getting 82 attack, 85 defense, 51 uh, power, and 119 knowledge. My, my spells are not even uh, maxed out yet, okay? Uh, as you can see, uh, I still got quite a lot to go. I have a lot of spells at level 1, so... Whenever when this uh, spell bookshelf was introduced into the game, these guys spent quite a lot of diamonds to get ahead, and it took me a long time before I realized where is he getting this power? Cause three hundred thousand power on just heroes is great boost, and it's a big difference, and that's why I can't even compete against him. Now, what does each stat do? So, hero attack. Hero attack increases your unit's damage. Hero defense reduces damage you taken by units. Hero intelligence increases spell damage. And hero knowledge reduces spell damage taken by hero spell. So basically this is a self-explanatory. This is what the stats do. Now, where do we can get the stats? So the most important thing where the, that gives you the biggest stat, boost stat will be artifacts. Second one will be your uh, hero collection. Third one will be spell bookshelf. Okay, so the fourth one will be a uh, side quest. The fifth one will be mages guild. Then you got also masteries and a skin collection. So these are the sources where you can uh, get your hero stats increased. So firstly, let's go through the artifacts. As you can see, they give you the most stats on the right side. Each artifact, you can have a summary of the artifact upgrade, upgraded artifact. So let's say Elixir of Life increases hero power by 21, basically all of the stats by 21%. That's maxed out Elixir of Life. However, then you also get, um, okay, so this is what okay so basically this is the summary of all your artifacts and the increased uh, level okay so all just these artifacts on this page in total gave me 21 in each stat where you can find the summary this is where you can find the summary you press the exclamation mark on top and you know the total from all of your artifacts okay so my magic damage is increased only by 252 percent it's quite low compared to other guys so my hero knowledge 471, hero power 404, hero defense 435, and hero attack 357. So this is what we are looking here in this video, okay? Uh, different artifacts boost different stats by different armor. As you can see, this lucky horseshoe is now increasing my uh, hero stats by a lot, okay? Uh, probably the best artifacts to increase your hero stats will be the purple one. As you can see, I'll look at this uh, power of dragon. It's only plus four and increases quite a lot, but also from the purple ones, your acts of ferocity. This will be the artifact that increases your hero stats by quite a lot, so it's worth investing in it. And this is what I'm doing the now, slowly investing in it. Um, now, see, let's move to uh, hero collection. 
So every hero uh, grants you gather bonus, which you can see here. So this is why it's worth uh, getting all the heroes and getting them to a uh, four star, because the higher the star, the more stars they're gonna give. Okay, and I'm all, I'm only missing uh, four heroes at the moment. Uh, I might get them later on when I save some money, because it's only the paid heroes that I'm missing and a human Sandro, which we should be getting next month from uh, login events, if I believe that is correct. Now, the third source of heroes re hero resources is a bookshelf. And each spell that you unlock uh, grants you different stats. And they're split in a four ranks, green, blue, purple, and orange, just like uh, your artifacts. Then uh, they also split into elements. And each element gives you a different stat boost. So uh, water element gives you your hero defense. Uh, start up and this probably is the start that gives the most power then we got fire which boosts hero attack air which boosts hero power which is uh, that start over here and then we got uh, earth that is hero knowledge there will be more spells released later on uh, I believe I'm not sure I don't Play on Chinese server. I just play on EU on uh, our global server and uh, focus on it. I don't care what the meta looks in two, three years from now. It doesn't bother me. I'm playing the meta that is cr happening currently. But I believe there will be more spells added. So where can I obtain the spells? So first and the most, you obtain them from a spell player, spell player. So um, you get a one free. Uh, prayer at five o'clock in the morning after the resets and they change weekly as you can see this week i'm getting a storm you can check the preview here and you can see what's what's coming in next week so you can focus on uh, the spells you are lacking and spend some diamonds on it so the 10 pool is worth uh 380 diamonds which is quite cheap and as a free to play player uh, you want to do it whenever the spell that you're looking for is available. You want to do it once a day to finish uh, spending 300 diamonds quest as well. So you'll get two uh, fishes with one stone. Okay. Mm. So uh, you can also uh, get them from a spell store, which is available here. If you get a shots and you opt in the shots from uh, dismantling uh unnecessary spells so for uh, for a green one you get two for a blue one you got three for uh purple you got 12 and for orange you got 24 okay so this this uh, store refreshes daily so uh every day you got in three you got all the random spells and what I would do here is I would probably focus on an orange ones. You can also focus on the purple ones, but there's also another way where you can obtain them. And this is underground. So in underground chapter 19, 19, yes. So whenever you get to chapter 19, you can start farming these spells and it is really worth farming them. Even the ones that you've maxed out because you can dismantle them and buy the ones uh, that you really want. So that's why I'm farming them. I'm also trying to farm as many as uh, as many units as possible for the, my main roster. And also a fifth way to get them is from various events. There were various events in the past where you can buy them for diamonds when you can exchange some uh, special uh, event item for the orange spells. So, um, as a reminder, as a free-to-play player, you want to focus on uh, the, the one spell that you want to add to your hero and do a 10 pull whenever there's a week happening. Now, another source of hero power is Amorletto Towers, which you can find in uh, various um, chapters. Whenever you finish M on a grade you can achieve, you'll get some stats for your heroes this is called a side quest and as you can see i got 50 40 50 47 which is basically almost the same amount as i got from my bookshelves at the moment 
Um, the next one is a magic guild. So in a magic guild, uh, you got different uh, elements as well, as you can see. And there's a middle row that always boosts your hero stats. So in a water, we can get uh, attack increased, uh, hero knowledge increased, and hero power increased. In fire, we got um, hero attack, defense, and uh, power. As you can see, it's for everyone. So you got hero attack. Sorry, that was hero attack, in uh, uh, hero knowledge, and uh, hero power. Then in earth, we got um, hero defense, uh, K, and hero knowledge. And then we also got. Uh, okay, I don't think these ones have it. Nope. Okay, so the two, the elemental and a, just elemental has no uh, passives. However, so your uh, chaos ones boost your attack by twenty, and defense by six, and knowledge by twenty. Okay, so this is another source of hero stats, and the last ones will be your skin collection. And skin collection is re doesn't bring a lot of stat boost to you which is good because if skins were to bring let's say a 20 or 30 of each uh, of each uh, a stat there will be a pay to win a mechanism and i'm really happy it's not like that it's only a one or two boost in a stat which is really not that high and the skins are really a cosmetic in this game and this is why this game stands out compared to to others so the most important things to remember and the tips that I would like to share with you is guys don't neglect hero stats. As you can see uh, I'm pretty far behind the whale on our server and I can't beat him in any uh, PvP uh, content because it's quite a lot. Trust me 300,000 300, power just from stats is a big difference between me and him. Uh, you should always uh, finish daily quests um, and also farm underground and uh, dismantle unnecessary uh, shots. The daily quest I'm talking about is this uh, where you need to spend uh, 300 diamonds. So this is why you should be pulling... Um, this is why you should be pulling... Um, that's the one I was looking at. Okay, so this is why you should be doing this 380 pull if you are free to play player. Whenever the spell that you're looking for is available, you'll finish the quest, get a free experience, and also you'll have a chance to get your spell that you need. Uh, this is it for today. Um, I'll do the next video that I'll do is probably about one of the heroes. Uh, I think it will be York, maybe later on Jedi, we'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed my content. If you do, please subscribe, like my videos, and share my channel. Thank you, bye.